Hello my fantastic friends and coin collectors, it's me Master Temple, are we having a good time? You bet we are. Today we're going to paint Niagara Falls, but first please do like and subscribe my fantastic friends so we can keep everything moving along, along diggity boo. Now these are a few pictures I took while I was at Niagara way back in 1999. There is my beautiful wife overlooking the massive Horseshoe Falls, and there I am on the Canadian border with America looking younger than ever okay so we've got his canvas and in the black part we can see uh, black gesso which I've allowed to dry completely and I've painted it with a bit of uh, thalo blue that is wet, the thalo blue is wet, at the top area and the bottom area where it's white that's gone on with liquid white and in the sky all I'm doing now with a fan brush is just gently teasing in a bit of the thalo blue and we're gonna make a, a simple little sky so quick so remember it's just liquid white which is a, a liquid oil paint it allows us to blend and move colour on the canvas and on the fan brush just thalo blue and that's all we've done for the sky we'll come back up now and we'll use a clean dry brush and we'll just blend all these colours together blend all these colours together just a little bit of a problem need to fix the easel there we go let's get let's get back into it so just blend in the colours there we go so the white on the underside is making the the sky a little bit lighter and we want it light towards the horizon as the horizon line is fairly high up on this uh, on this picture it's fairly high up now it's it's a simple picture um, it's not using a, a great deal of colors uh, I suppose you could take it into a lot of different variants if you to use the crimsons but I'm going for the blues and whites today for the blues and whites so in the background if memory serves me right there were some trees and they're far away so on the the basting brush the butter basting brush I call it I'm just giving some indications where I've I've basically put the idea down on the black gesso and allowed that to dry completely now I'm coming back on here now with the green oil paints and I'm just tapping in some indications and some far far away trees and some of this will get painted over because I'm not too sure where I want my waterline to be yet it all depends on how well the the falls fall I suppose so yeah it's just some trees and this is mixed with a bit of sap green and a bit of uh, burnt umber we don't want them too green but we don't want them too too brown either so the palette knife just took the palette knife I'm just scraping in I don't know you can't really see uh, but I'm just scraping in the arm uh, the, the arms that my arm uh, the branches of the tree trees in the in the background right so let's put some water lines in so bit of blue and white on the brush and zip across there and another one we'll go backwards and forwards and do this many many times so it's just white with a bit of blue on there that was just used for the sky really straight across straight across and again I don't know where we're gonna have the falls I've got a rough idea a bit of an imagination play as well because we're going to use artistic license it won't be an exact copy of the waterfalls the, the Niagara Falls but, but it'll just be my interpretation of it okay so we're just going across from the sides so if any of you guys started painting I would really love to see some of your paintings I get I get a couple sent through on, on Instagram and, and uh, Facebook and there's some wonderful people out there learning how to paint and, and creating wonderful pieces of art so what we're doing now is, is just a bit of the, the white colour still on the brush and we're just 
trying to shape and form these falls just like so I remember being in Niagara Falls and before I even got out of the car ah oh, the sound it was like a it was like a hurricane it was like an earthquake I've never I've never experienced a sound like it and when we got out of the car I see me I have, I have family that live over there and when we got out of the car the air had a mist in the air like you know like if you go to the seaside or something like that it, it was similar to that and we could hear the waterfall wow, what sound and as we got closer and closer to the uh, to the railings where you could see the falls I was mesmerized what an absolute beautiful sight Niagara is and if you should go there or if you go to Canada or North America just just go to go to Niagara it's the most beautiful place on, on, on the planet one of the most beautiful places I should say Yorkshire is quite good <laughs> but no honestly it is, it is wonderful it is wonderful and we crossed the bridge we went from we stayed at the Can Canadian side and we went into America and uh, we went for a day trip around New York state um, not around it because it's a massive place but we just went for a day trip around the Buffalo I believe the little town uh, which is on the Niagara side uh, the American side of Niagara anyhow let's get back to painting so what I'm doing I'm re going over the falls if you can see I'm not happy at how, how shallow these falls are so I'm taking taking the water the waterfalls upwards that easy and I'm using the fan brush this time as before I used the, the one, inch, uh, one inch brush this time I'm using the fan brush so we've learnt two ways of how to make them and again it's just just a little bit of liquid white now you may need to keep wiping your brush on a bit of tissue and let's change the direction of this water yeah boom straight over the edge you know in in winter apparently these falls they um, they freeze and what a wonderful sight that must be a monstrous waterfall like Niagara freezing completely solid completely solid how crazy is that how crazy is that the food over in Canada was immense as well the, me, and my, me and my wife we, we, we stayed there when we were only young and we stayed obviously with uh, my relations and we went to a little restaurant one night and um, we, we were too young to drink in America and Canada at that, that time even though we were old enough in England uh, so, so we had to stay on juice but we went into this restaurant and we ordered what we thought would just be like a small portion of ribs and um, other bits and pieces well you could feed a family of 20 on what they fetched out for us it was immense big big portions and relatively cheap as well it was just absolutely fantastic food fantastic people beautiful scenery oh. uh, we fell in love with the place we really did it's a wonderful place if you guys have been that way on let me know what you, what you thought of it so here we go all I'm doing is is raising the far bank a slight bit it, 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 it's bugging me a little bit so all I'm doing is taking a bit of liquid white and just putting in a, a far bank line and the green that we put down will be reflection so so everybody's a winner no mistakes are made no mistakes are made there we go and then we can come back in and put some splashes and some sploshes and some snips and some snaps <laughs> there we go just like so so the darker colour which is just blues thalo blue maybe a bit of Prussian blue every now and again and we 
rocking the, the brush from side to side keeping the brush moving at all times like we get the feel that it's moving water and it's moving quite quickly and it's churning and under here there'll be all sorts of rocks and boulders and, and things that this, this water's smashing against that you can't see so we're going backwards and forwards between the darks and the light colours and we're just going to create this this splishy splashy part of the river there we go so bit of a light colour now straight over straight over and a bit more put another little fall there I remember seeing the squiggles in Canada. Uh, boy, they're big. They are big. They're like a, the size of a Jack Russell, you know, a Yorkshire Terrier sized squiggle. <laughs> and they're quite tame as well. They'll be, be pestering you for, uh, for some peanuts and stuff. But yeah, the wildlife. We went for a walk around the, the woods around Toronto and. Um, we went for a walk and there was a big patch of grass just like trampled and it was a massive patch of grass that had been trampled about about car size you, you know and uh, I, I said to my auntie I said what's caused this then and she she said oh it could either be a, a wolf pack or, or a bear uh, or uh, but before she even finished a sentence, me and my wife were back in the car with the doors locked. You know, <laughs> the worst we get in England's a badger. <laughs> you know, I had jog sometimes. A bear, a wolf, and we're out here picking berries. Do you think that's wise? But now that they're at one with nature, they're at one with nature over there. So down at the bottom of the falls, we're just we're just putting some mist in. So all we've done is added some white paint. And now we're coming in with a, a dry, firm brush, and we're just tapping, diffusing the bottom of these falls. And every now and again, we'll touch a little bit more of the titanium white, just to add a little bit more zing to the to the mist. You know, people went over these falls in in beer barrels. Not while we were there, obviously, but 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 they, but they did in I think in Victorian times. I, I think. They need their head seeing to don't they? They're not rating head doing that. These daredevils, that, oof, I can't believe it sometimes what they get up to. But either over falls in a beer barrel, you'd be, you'd just be sick, wouldn't you? It'd be like being in a washing machine. <laughs> so yeah, we've created the mist down at bottom. So now let's put the the rest of the river in, in down here so again blue colours swashing side to side easy peasy I'll make it a bit darker draw your eye into the centre and again if you've got plenty of time and you've got you know the big canvas you could really make this your own this is just basically a little a little sketch sort of oil painting there we go now let's encase it in give some more water on this side down in the bottom there's uh, the, th the sail boats into the mist and the, the boats were called the mists or the maid of the mist and they have about six or seven of these these little cruise ships things that, that that sail into the into the waterfall. We never went on them, but but it looked it looked pretty good. Uh, uh, it's just a little bit too scary for me. <laughs> we went up the CN Tower as well when we were in Toronto, and we went for something to eat up there, and and um, we looked down when we were up the CN Tower. And it's a glass bottom floor, and cars and wagons below the CN Tower look like ants and matchsticks. It's 
very, very, very frightening. So what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm just scraping off the excess paint. It's not sticking well enough. So we'll just scrape off the paint. Like we say, there is no mistakes here. We practiced putting on a bit of paint, and now we've took it off, and now we're going to put it back on again. It's just like so. No mistakes are made. No mistakes are made. You can do that many, many times. So a bit of white on this waterfall here. Some foam. Fast flowing water. It, w it was literally like an earthquake when you were stood next to when you were stood next to this thing. Beautiful thing, beautiful. On an evening, I believe, on special occasions, they light up this uh, this waterfall in the uh, the red and white colours of the Canadian flag. This is all Shoe Falls, which is on the Canadian side. I think Rainbow Falls is on the American side because there's a few different falls at Niagara. And uh, yeah, the, the shine, they project lights onto the waterfall in, in, in the shape of the flag. And it's, it's, it's again, it's another beautiful sight. So with a knife we're just cutting in a, a far, far, far away waterline. And we'll put some splashes in up here with a knife and liquid white. So again this painting doesn't use many colours. It doesn't use many techniques either. But it'll, it'll give you a good practice at creating a waterfall. We don't use much techniques on this one but we don't need to do we don't need to here we go just like so so guys what coins have you found lately I ask this every week because I'm always intrigued to know what people are finding in the change because the way I find my coin collection is by going into shops and, and, and asking what people have found and I, I find that quite a rewarding way and uh, I, I want to know what you guys have been finding out there have you found anything special have you have you asked in in shops for certain coins it's um, it is a quick way well it's not terribly quick but it's it's, it's a good speedy way to boost up a, a collection if you go into a, a place and say um, Hey Keith, have you got any uh, uh, picture 50p's? And they may look through and and give you some. They may not, but you never know until you ask. Right, we're putting some some bricks here, some some bricks, some <laughs> some boulders and rocks, and we'll put some grass on this. It's down in this bottom corner here, just like so. So this is just black paint. With a bit of brown mixed in on the uh, on the little filbert brush, just like so. Easy. You no straight lines. No straight lines needed. And then we'll come across and, and we'll, we'll put some highlights on this these these rocks here. So we've just mixed a bit of a lighter colour. And if you can see, I'm turning the brush as I'm as I'm painting. I'm just turning it. That enables me to get all the paint off the brush before mixing mud, and we don't want to mix mud. <laughs> That's not fun at all. Fan brush, bit of green paint, and we'll put some bits of grass and things on here. Again, no finesse, no finesse needed. It's a it's um, it's one of those paintings where you cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong painting this one. Bit more highlight colour. There we go. Bit more up there.
touch here and there. Happy days, eh? happy days. I'm just remembering the drinks. Root beer. What a drink that was. And Wendy's Burger Place. That was big square burgers. Such a uh, mouth watering already. What, what, what happy memories this picture is fetching back. I'll have to go again. What a wonder, wonderful place Canada is. What a wonderful place Canada is. So we'll just tap in some some more some more mist at the side just to just to finish off this side. We don't want this side being left out. Blend him away into the into the water. And if we had time, we could paint a little boat down there, or we could put some big boulders down there. Or it's limitless. We could do anything. We could do anything if we have the time. But while I'm filming these videos, we don't have much time. Look at that. So it's not the most striking painting, but it, uh, it still it does give you a, a bit of uh, use of the equipment. Happy days, eh? Happy days. What do you think of it? Shall we sign it? I think we shall. Down in this bottom corner. So, we've mixed the thin paint on the script brush. And I just initial this. Let me know what you think, guys. Happy days. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Do take care now.